Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a quick uh, first impressions of a product. I was asked to do a review of uh, this by a viewer uh, and I had some and I thought what I'd do is I'd just do an overview because um, the, he wanted a stone paper review uh, and I'm not a huge fan of stone paper. I think it's got a cool novelty effect uh, and I think for some uses it can be really great. Um, but for my in my you know life with fountain pens and things like that, I'm not entirely um, a massive fan of the concept. But what I have today is a very 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 good quality uh, version of that. Um, what I have is cast notebooks. This is the stone paper A5 journal. It comes in two pack, one blank, one lined. Um, I'm going to go over the parts and features and, you know, do little writing samples and things. Um, but it's just more or less going to be an overview, not a full review. I just want to show how it performs. Um, this brand is great. If you are after stone paper, cast is one of the best you can get. Um, I'll go into that in a bit more detail in the other view. But I just wanted to do a little disclaimer at the top here for one particular reason. And that is that there is a lot of controversy. Well, not a lot. You know, it's a small niche market, but there is controversy about stone paper for fountain pens um, because the the worry is that it will damage your nibs over time. Now, I've chosen two pens to write in this. I'm going to be writing very little with my fountain pens in this. Um, I used to use stone paper years ago without when I didn't use fountain pens. I use it with ballpoint pens and things like that, and it is nice. Um, but if you are looking at using stone paper for fountain pen use, just be aware. I've not used them enough to know if this actually happens. I'm just going by reports, by what people say, by what is out there in social media and on Reddit and all these sorts of things. Stone paper can be detrimental, can potentially be detrimental to a fountain pen nib in terms of taking away some of the tipping, grinding it, in effect, grinding it down. It is a harder surface than regular paper. It's smooth, but it is a harder surface. So just be aware of that. Be aware that that is out there. Uh, and now I will start my little overview. So as I said, today I'm reviewing the Stone Paper Journal. This is the A5 version from Cast. This is how it comes in two pack. Uh, it says twin pack there. Uh, layout is one lined and one blank. Color is slate. Like normal paper, like normal paper, only better. It says made from recycled stone there on the side. On the back, we get some basic information. I'll unpackage this in just a second so we get rid of that glare. Uh, made from 100% recycled stone without any trees, bleaches, or acids. Cast stone paper is rebuilt uh, from first principles to do what normal paper can't. This journal saves trees, water, and energy while being waterproof, more sustainable, and infinitely smoother to write, scribble, doodle, and draw on. It says here, waterproof and tear-resistant, 100% recyclable uh, and tree-friendly, 60% lower carbon footprint, friction-free writing, and then it has a website, and then the basic information, which let's run over now. So co cover is flexible. I'd agree with that. Quantity pack of two, definitely agree with that. Size. 148 by 210, so that's 148 by 210, or uh, 5.8 by 8.3 inches. Uh, pages are perforated, uh, 52 each, and weight is 144 GSM, 120 microns, and detail is, it's got a back pocket. So let's get this out of the packet, and we'll do some writing. So here I have selected the uh, blank notebook, and the first thing is this cover is beautiful to feel. Like, the feeling of this paper and the cover and everything is just really, really nice. It's super smooth, it's, it's flexible, it's durable, sewn bound, which is nice. I really like sewn binding as opposed to sort of stapled binding on these sort of small books. The paper is nice and white. Like, here it is next to Rodeo, which is, like, super white. So it's, I suppose it's not, like, white white, but it's definitely not cream or ivory. Nicely made. These are very, very durable. Um, first test is, of course, the tear test, and you can see the paper kind of bends before it tears, uh, which is really, really a nice uh, feature. A little back pocket, as it said there, um, which is good. Okay, um, so we're going to do some writing in this. I'm going to flip back to the front here. 
I've got a selection of pens. I'm going to write, talk about how it feels to write on this paper, uh, but also we're then, we're then going to look at the reverse and see sort of what comes through because it is bleed uh, resistant. Uh, and it is waterproof, and I'm going to show you a little test uh, of that as well. So I'm going to start with a ballpoint pen. I've just got a, a Uniball Jetstream here. So the first thing, I, I did those lines in particular for a reason. Um, one thing you notice is that, yes, the paper is very smooth. There's a lot of give in it. It's uh, kind of spongy. But the reason I did these lines is you won't be able to see it necessarily, but like the paper kind of gets caught behind if you push too hard. So if you write nice and light, it's very smooth. If you push, if you write with any pressure, you actually are pushing into the paper. So that was just a Uniball Jetstream roll uh, ballpoint. I have a Muji gel pen. That should be a G, sorry. Same thing applies with the sort of spongy paper, smooth again. You can see like a little separation in the lines, which is unusual for Muji, um, but that is because this is very resistant paper uh, in terms of like the, you know, the water resistance of it and, you know, the fact that the ink doesn't absorb into the paper. And then we have a Faber-Castell. Rollerball. Just there, that really dug in. And it's the same as if you're, if you're a right-handed writer, you just feel it the other way. Um, like, that's still wet. So it does take a bit of time to dry on this paper. I want to try a couple of other little bits and pieces. Um, a Pilot Friction. Once again, you get that sort of separated line. It's actually hard to write on this paper a little bit, like it is a little grippy. Uh, smooth but grippy, I think that's probably how I would describe it. Um, and let's see if it raises. It's not the best for friction pens. Like it does erase, but it sort of like leaves a lot of mark and digs in once again. Uh, next we'll try a highlighter here. Let's highlight some of this ballpoint at the top here. Yep, that feels alright. It's an odd surface. It does feel very different to paper. It feels incredibly different to write on uh, than regular paper. I will say that uh, very, very clearly. Uh, we've got a Konor, uh Hartmut 2B pencil. That's nice. Yep. Writes well. Um, but, oh, you can definitely see, see uh, you can see it really digging in uh, to the paper there. That's what, not with a whole lot of pressure. Um, I don't have an eraser on me. I've only got the eraser here on a Palomino Blackwing. Um, once again, not particularly easy to erase. Stuff seems to sort of get really onto the paper. Uh, and then, well, let's go a Sharpie. Ooh, the Sharpie doesn't like it. actually not overly pleasant. Then two fountain pens, and I'm going to write here with just a Pilot Varsity. This is just like the disposable pen for everyday fountain pen writing. Yeah, the grippiness of that page is actually really <laughs> kind of off-putting. Um, it is smooth. Like, I'll just go back to the rollerball for a quick second. That right-handed sort of like, for the most part, if you're not applying too much pressure, it's okay. It's when you get a little bit of pressure on the page or it just catches that you do feel like you're sort of digging in. It's very resistant paper, so it's not going to tear. You're not going to push through it, but it just is a bit resistant in terms of the grip on the page. And then last, I've got a stub nib here uh, with a sheeny ink. Uh, this is Lamy Azurite in a italics. Parsons Essential. with our right foot oblique medium nib. So the ink here is Lamy. Oh, it's so hard to write, crystal. 
as your own. Let's put a big, big swap down, swap down of that. And that is all I will be writing on that book with a fountain pen. Okay, so nothing feathers. Well, not a lot. Actually, you know what? I'm taking that back. That has feathered. The italics fountain pen has feathered. Not a lot, but it has feathered. Uh, but that is laying down a, a pretty solid amount of ink. We're not getting any sheen coming through. Oh, maybe a bit. Yep. Maybe we are getting sheen. That's nice. A bit of red sheen popping through. Um, but everything seems to be okay. It's just that grippy sort of nature on the page. It's just, it is a very different experience to writing on paper. Um, and erasing is, is difficult. If we look at the reverse of the page, you can see how, how when that paper is gripped in, and that's not from where I put the pen down particularly hard, that's like in everyday writing as well. Um, it is, it kind of pushes through and onto the next page. It kind of pushes in and then like grabs up like, like a plastic almost. Uh, it's got a, a plasticky, rubbery sort of tension to the paper. Nothing has come through though. Nothing has bled, nothing is, you know, which is to be expected. Um, these are interesting with like some markers and things. If I just like, just to really put down the, the, lay down the pressure, here is a large Sharpie, which once again does not like. Uh, the paper, but markers, you know, do tend to sort of perform well on this paper and like the Sharpie doesn't come through. Now you can see through the paper, there is ghosting. For 144 GSM, it is still thin because it is stone paper, so it is heavier. And that book does have a sort of a substantial weight. Um, the other thing, of course, with this book is going to be the dry time. Um, as we saw, you know, with the, the gel pen and the rollerball, it takes time because it is water resistant paper. Um, it's, they say it's waterproof. Uh, that, that can mean a number of different things. Um, so all I'm gonna do really simply is just take some water. I'm just gonna splash it on here and see what happens. So obviously some of these inks aren't water resistant. Um, and they're picking up a lot of the mess. Just getting some paper towel here and I'll mop that up. But because the paper is water resistant, not a lot is sort of sticking to it. <laughs> like that has made a right mess uh, of this page. So, Water resistant in terms of it being waterproof. This is the sort of paper you can write on underwater. In fact, I, uh, in a, I've, I've got a Fisher space pen that I'm uh, filming a video about today as well, where I'll be writing on this paper underwater to test it out, because uh, that is part of the, the appeal of all of this. But interesting to see uh, what happens when this gets wet. So this was the cast stone paper uh, a5 journal, that was the blank version. It also comes in line. I'll just quickly show you uh, the line. So it's a nice sort of thin line, nice sewn binding once again. Um, and, you know, simple logos, all that sort of stuff. Just a fairly sort of straightforward A5 journal, just made with that recycled stone paper. Generally things like, um, you know, the offcuts from quarries and those sorts of things. Um, as I said at the top of the video, be aware that there is, I've not seen this myself because I haven't used it enough, um, but I don't want to risk doing that anyway, that it can affect uh, a, the polish and the grind of a nib, so of a fountain pen. So if you're using these for pencils, for pens, you know, rollerballs, ballpoints, that sort of stuff, it is fine. Be aware, it is a very different writing sensation. That grippy sort of nature of the paper does takes will take some getting used to. Uh, but in terms of its durability, Flexibility, as I said, like I showed earlier, the paper just, um, if I can find the page, just on the back here, like the, it's hard, it's like you can't tear this paper. You can cut it, but like I've put it under considerable pressure to get that to happen, it just sort of bends around it. So 
interesting durable paper if you're a field if you work out in the field if you're in situations where you are working in wet climates that sort of stuff this might be a good option for you just if you are a fountain pen user be aware anyway this was the cast stone paper journal overview um, i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below you can find me on instagram or twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below if you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your notebooks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.